Hey everyone, it's your Jossie, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. So today's video, we're gonna be making like this little cute dress, body corn, sparkly, whatever. You'll see, you've seen it in the thumbnail, and now we're gonna make it. For this dress, I'm using like this fabric that I got from this place called Scraps, Scrap Be More, to be exact. So if you're in the Baltimore area, then you might wanna, then you might wanna check them out because. They have like everything a creative needs and everything is like donated. So it's like you're reusing, you're recycling. It's just like, ah, sustainable, you know? So before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because <clears throat> join the winning team. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So guys, like I said, this material is very stretchy, very shiny, and it's really cute. I love it. So what I'm going to do first is fold it. Um, with right sides together, not completely in half, but just fold it enough and then bring my dress that I'm going to use as a template and fold it in half. I'm going to do the back side first, so folding over so you can see the back side of it. Then place that half on the half part or the center part of the um, fabric that we folded and make sure it's all lined up right and then we're going to mark out exactly where i want the dress so i'm first doing the collar and then that shoulder seam and i'm just kind of marking vaguely where each of the parts are i'm marking the armhole next and i'm really just marking about an inch away an inch or two away from the actual dress to leave for seam allowance you can mark more or less if you probably more which is what you want to do so i'm just doing the same thing all the way down making sure that i'm getting around the shape of the dress so i'm bringing out my curved rulers because we're gonna need these you don't really need them um but i like to use them because i have them so i'm just gonna put it the ruler to my line and then define my line even more playing with the ruler see which curve fits best and at the shoulder seam make that straight line and at the collar make that curve line as well use the curve lines the curve rulers as i need them all the way around the body of the dress so here is that hip curve now i'm using that hip curve ruler to make that line and at the bottom i am just making a straight line to go across you might want to make it a little longer just in case um that you need to hem it but um yeah so then we're just gonna cut it out and so at first i was using scissors but that was taking a little long so i pulled out my rotary cutter because the fabric was very stretchy so it took me a minute to get all the way around the lines that i needed to cut and in hindsight i should have cut like a half an inch or to an inch even more so around the lines that i drew so that was the back half we're gonna do the same thing and repeat the same steps for the front half and fold that dress so you can see the front and put that center line on the center line of the fabric and draw out your shape of the neckline the shoulder line the armholes and the rest of the body of the dress i'm taking my time with it because the fabric is stretchy and make sure that on both sides there's enough fabric so that when you cut it out it is symmetrical on both sides we are going to do the same thing with the fronts i'm using my curb rulers to get that front neck, the side seams, the armholes, just the shape of them, just to make it more defined and repeat that step for the whole dress.
Remember, you can use scissors or rotary cutter, whatever works best for you. It was a little struggle, like I said, because the fabric was so stretchy, but work with it, take your time, and it's gonna look great in the end. Just trust the process, you know? And voila, here are our two pieces. We are, have the front and the back. We're gonna place the front over the back. It doesn't really matter, but um, make sure it's right sides together and then pin at the shoulder seams and then pin all the way down the body of the dress. Do not pin the armholes. Don't pin those together because they're supposed to be open. So pin all the way down the dress on both sides and we're gonna sew that down soon repeat those steps on the other side <laughs> i had to flip my own around and after that we're gonna sew it down i used a zigzag stitch to sew this down i sewed about a quarter of an inch away from the edge and what you can do is after you sew this down you can either serge the ends or do another zigzag stitch at the raw edges so it'll have a nicer look when you finish and once you sew that down here's how it looks it was pretty cute you know it was getting somewhere but i kind of wanted a deeper neckline so i just took my chalk and drew it while it was on me um drew a little neckline it's not perfect but we're gonna figure it out um when we finish and it ended right at the center of my chest and for the back we're gonna make like a keyhole thing and so i marked where the top of it should be or where i wanted it and so we're gonna use our curved ruler for the front to draw out that neckline. Then I folded them in half again, so then we can pin them together and make that same cut on both sides so they're symmetrical. So they're actually symmetrical and they won't look lopsided like the way I drew them. We don't want that. So then just cut that out. And there's our front and now for the back we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna start at that mark that we have just make I'm gonna do a little diamond shaped so I'm gonna start at that mark and make like a four or five inch line at an angle and then make another one at another angle maybe like a right angle I don't know just make like a half a diamond shape um, just two lines like that then again we're gonna fold it in half at the back and pin it down so the fabric doesn't go anywhere and then we can cut out that shape so then it will be the same on both sides and not lopsided like anything else you know we want to make it look as professional as possible so just cut that out on the same size and boom we have our cutouts and our raw edges so first we're going to turn it inside out so we can start the hemming process which is a longer process especially to pin it but we're going to start with the armholes i think i first surged it and that's what i did here and then now we can start with the armholes i surged the raw edges so for the armholes we're just going to do a double rolled hem right at the arms holes and pin it down all the way around both armholes and the neckline we're really going to do that for all of the raw edges now that i think about it so yeah just keep doing that all the way around it took a lot of time so take your time with this just to pin it it took a while so just don't rush it pin it before you actually sew it it you'll thank yourself later trust me So pin that all the way around and do the back keyhole, the neckline, and the bottom of the dress. So here it is all pinned. I did the neckline and the armhole. I didn't do the back yet, but it's going to be the same thing. I just wanted to conserve my pins. I didn't feel like it anymore. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew down with a straight stitch all the way around those hems 
that I pinned down. Just like that. In this light, the fabric looks so pretty. Don't you think? It does. You're right. I know. Once that side is all hemmed up, I cut off the excess threads and that looks like really professional now because it's all like hemmed and prettied up. And so I think I did the hem next at the bottom of the dress and I do the same thing. I think the hem was a little more, a little thicker than the armhole was, um, at least the hem. But I did the same process, just double rolled hemmed it pinned it down and sewed it all the way around so take your time you got it girl now for that keyhole in the back i didn't double roll him i think i just rolled it over once because this fabric doesn't fray but i didn't want the hole to be too big so I just rolled it over once and that was fine for me and I did the same thing and just used a straight stitch and sewed all the way around trying to pivot at the corners to make it look like a diamond as much as possible because when it stretches it's gonna round off the edges. So I took my time and went around as carefully as I could and it all turned out pretty great. So after that, you're golden. It looks really nice from, you know, that angle. But other than that, I cut off the excess threads and seams. And it's now time to try this baby on. Yes, we love it. It's so cute. Look at that keyhole in the back. Showing some back action. We love that. With this red iridescent sparkle. I love it. I love everything about it. The neckline is cute, the style is cute, it fits my body right, we love that. So let me know in the comments if you try it. I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Bye!